That was a great selection of podiums. Well done, everybody. Now, last week, of course, Freddie and Charlie were the winners of the obedience slash following instructions lightning quest, and they chose Pete to face the pie. And seeing that it was the last one, shall we watch it again? Do you know what? I think I am pretty much done. It does feel a lot better. Thank you for doing that. Well, to be honest, um, you did look a bit of a scruff uh, presenting breakfast last weekend. Yeah, it's fair. Yeah. Yeah, it's fair. Uh, I don't know. Actually, you know, I think I'm just going to do a little bit of an improvement to the front. Okay. So if um, you just close your eyes, that okay. way I won't get any hair in your face. Sure. And I've just got one final touch to mm. make. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. Yep. It's got one final touch to make. Okay, you ready? Yep. I'm definitely going to miss delivering those pies. But let's find out who won the lightning craft last week and learn what minute win it game the leader they choose will have to face. So the winner of the lightning craft is David. Now, David, of course, is usually on the receiving end of a pie. So this is the first time he will get to choose someone else. And the person he chooses will be the first to face a minute to win it challenge. Now, I'm not going to tell you who he chose till later in the service, but I can tell you a bit about the challenge. Now the minute to win it challenge for today will involve covering the player's nose in golden syrup and then seeing how many times in a minute they can swing a pom-pom tied to a piece of string so that it sticks to their nose. And the only catch is they can only use their mouth. Intrigued? Keep watching to find out how it goes. But of course, the real reason that we are here today is to press pause in our busy weeks and give over this small window of time to praise and worship our Heavenly Father. It is a chance to refresh and recharge our faith batteries and it starts, as always, with confession. So Lord, we pray that you would bring to mind any events of the past week, or any areas of our lives that we need to bring before you today. Please open our eyes to see where and when we have strayed from your path. Lord, we are sorry. Thank you, Father God, for shining your light into our lives and for offering forgiveness when we stray from your ways or fail to do what we know we should. And we pray that you would walk forward with us and give us strength and courage to resist temptation and to step out in faith to follow you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, so we have our reading in a moment from Sharon. But before that, let's sing together a song called Adoration. Now, it's not one that we regularly do at breakfast, but it reminds us of how amazing Jesus is. And when we sing about his greatness, when we proclaim how wonderful he is, it gives us reassurance and strength to follow him, even if we don't know exactly where we are going. 